Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. It's time to round up this weekend's Premier League action. It was Liverpool who won the bragging rights on Merseyside, beating Everton 3-1 at Anfield. Somehow no one was sent off, while Joel Robles did his best impression of someone who doesn't know how to be a goalkeeper. In a huge shock at Stamford Bridge, league leaders Chelsea were beaten 2-1 by Crystal Palace. And in true Sam Allardyce form, he took all the credit for the victory. Defeat for Antonio Conte's side meant that Tottenham had the chance to close the gap at the top, and it was a chance they took, beating Burnley 2-0 at Turf Moor. Pochettino's men are now 7 points behind Chelsea, and it will be an absolute crime if Moussa Sissoko ends this season with the Premier League winner's medal. Down at the bottom, Hull picked up a huge win, coming from behind to beat West Ham. Leicester continued their good form without Claudio Ranieri, with Wilfred Ndidi and Jamie Vardy giving the Foxes a 2-0 victory over Mark Hughes' Stoke. However, there was more misery for Sunderland, who were beaten 1-0 by Watford at Vicarage Road. I'm trying to think of something positive for the Sunderland fans, but I've got nothing. Now we've got a triple header of 0-0 draws. Man United were held to a goalless draw against West Brom at Old Trafford, while there was nothing to separate Bournemouth and Southampton on the south coast. But if you do live in and around the surrounding area of St Mary's, keep an eye out for a ball, because Harry Arter's penalty is bound to come down soon. On to Sunday and it was a relegation six-pointer between Middlesbrough and Swansea and of course it was a nil-nil draw, the Borough were involved. The draw does nothing for either team, with Borough still five points adrift, while Swansea hover above the relegation zone. And finally, there was a very odd game at the Emirates. It ended Arsenal 2, Man City 2, but it was as if no one wanted to win in the end. Even the fans didn't seem to care when the full-time whistle went. The result means that the Gunners remain in sixth, but I suppose they didn't get beat, so does that mean we're Wenger in or Wenger out now? Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.